Are you planning to bring your loved ones to Denmark for a visit? Look no further, in this video, I will walk you through the process of applying for a visa using my personal experience of bringing my own parents to Denmark. From gathering the required documents to submitting the application, I will make sure you have the relevant information to make the process as smooth as possible. Let's get started. Hello everyone, my name is Arun Prakash and today I want to share with you my experience of applying family visit visa. I currently live and work in this beautiful country of Denmark and I wanted to invite my parents to come and visit me for a short period of time. As I have a work permit to live and work here in Denmark, I am also able to invite my parents to stay with me for a short period of time. In my case, I had planned to invite my parents for a two week period in Denmark and it's normally valid for the entire Schengen area. The process of applying for this family visit visa is not always straightforward, but with the help of some guidance and the right paperwork, it can be done. Now before that, what is a Schengen area? As we journey through Europe, there is one thing that stands out more than anything else, and that is this collection of 27 countries is a passport-free zone, which means that once you are in, can travel freely between all the other countries within the region and that's a big deal. So what countries make up the Schengen area? Well there is Austria, Belgium, Croatia, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden and Switzerland. A lot of countries, a lot of countries. To apply for a family visit visa to Denmark you will need to follow these steps. First one, if you are going to be visiting a family member or a friend in the Schengen area, you will need to provide a few key documents. First thing is you will need to fill out the VU2 application form, which is the form to invite someone to a Schengen country. You will also need to provide an invitation letter from the person you are visiting. Next, you will need to have a valid passport size photographs that meets the requirement of the embassy. You will also need to have a travel insurance and a booked flight ticket. Make sure your passport is valid for at least three months beyond the planned trip. Additionally, you will need to provide proof of accommodation and your residence permit of address. You will also need to provide a receipt for the visa fee and a bank statement from the last three months. Finally, you will need to include cover letters explaining the purpose of your trip. So there you have it, all the documents you will need to furnish when applying for the Schengen visa. These may include a completed visa application form, a valid passport, passport size photographs, proof of your relationship to the person you are visiting, for example, marriage certificate, birth certificate, and proof of financial means, example, bank statements. Step two is scheduling an appointment with a visa application center. First thing first, you will need to fill out the visa application form. Once you have done that, the next step is to book an appointment to have your fingerprints and photo taken at a visa application center. This is also known as a biometric information. Make sure to book individual appointments for each member of the family or group. My parents had to do this and it is important to note that each family member will need to attend their own appointment. On the day of your appointment, make sure to bring all the required documents and be prepared for an interview with the visa officer. They will ask about the purpose of your visit and may also ask for some additional information. After your appointment, you will have to wait for the embassy or the consulate to process your application. This can take several weeks depending on the individual case. If your application is approved, you will receive a visa that allows you to enter into Denmark for a specific period of time. It is a good idea to check the embassy or the consulate website for the specific information on the documents and process required for the family visit visa to Denmark. The requirements may vary depending on your country of origin and do not forget to check out the embassy website. Step three is receiving the visa from the embassy. And now finally that my parents have received the passport with the visa sticker, they are good to travel. If you found this video useful, please share it to friends or families or anyone else you think could benefit from this information. By sharing, you also help others to navigate the visa process and make it less daunting for them. Make sure to hit the subscribe button by subscribing, you help support the channel. You will be the first one to know when I post a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.